want uh, your opinion uh, about Jalen Brunson, Isaiah Hardenstein. Uh, uh, what's your expectations about them? Well, uh, I expect Jalen Brunson to do what I saw him do when I was covering the Western Conference Finals, when I watched him with Dallas, and especially when Luka Doncic wasn't in the game or even wasn't playing. Like the first couple of games of the playoffs, when they played Utah, Jalen Brunson was a star. I mean, he got to the basket. He got into the paint easily. Now, he's not very big, but he's very strong. And he can he, he's a good finisher in the paint. He can score uh, when he gets in the paint. And, you know, in, in the NBA, if you can get if you can get past the first line of defense and get into the paint, now you're now you're drawing different players over, to you, and then you can start facilitating and passing. And I saw him do it at the highest level. I mean, I was seeing him do this against, you know, the Phoenix Suns. I was seeing him do this against the Golden State Warriors in the Western Conference Finals. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, this guy can play. Like, he's good. So my expectations yes. is that he's just going to do what he's been doing uh, and being a guy that can do something that a Knicks guard hasn't been able to do in a long time. Um, and that is be that guy that can score and, you know, uh, facility, you know pass and um, – you know, just make the defense react to him. I got to tell you, it's it's been 20 years since the Knicks had a guard who went to the All-Star game. 20 years. You know, they've, they've yeah, had good fine. forwards. Carmelo Anthony, you know, Chris Jones Porzingis, you know, Amari Stoudemire, Tyson Chandler's been to the All-Star. Like, they've had good forwards. They haven't had yeah. great guards in a long time. So Brunson, you know, is a guy that can he be can he get to that level? Um, how about this? The last point guard to make the All Star team from the Knicks? You weren't a fan yet. Nineteen eighty nine. What were you doing in nineteen eighty nine? Man, Mark nine Jackson years old was an All Star. <laughs> Whoa, Mark yeah. Jackson. Yeah, a start. A, a Knicks point guard has not been in the All Star game. Since Mark Jackson in 1989, can Jalen Brunson Man. end that drought? That's the question. So I expect high-end scoring and and toughness out of him at that position. Uh, I saw a, a post uh, in New York Post. Né? I, I make it an uh, interview with uh, Zach Braziller. Yeah. Uh, in, your, in your post, uh, Derek Harper promise uh nick fans uh will love uh jaylen brunson yeah what do you think about this post uh from derek harper mm -hmm. saying that yeah oh i trust him i've talked to derek uh several times we've had him on our show Whoa. and we've interviewed him and, and i'm a big fan of of harp and he's not a guy that will will you know lie to you you know he won't say that just to say it he'll he tells you that because he from his eyes what he sees and his experience of all the years that he's played the point guard position he knows what he's looking at and i think he really likes jalen brunson he knows what new york wants because he's played here so he understands what fans want and demand and how tough it is to play here too because of how intense it is and he he sees a player that is built for it and will do well. And I, I thought it was great to hear him say that. Um, but I, I, I believe him, and I think he's right. I think Knicks fans will like his like Brunson's toughness. They will like uh, a player that. It's like um, you have great soccer players in Brazil who play all over the world, right? Yes. But when yes. they play for Brazil, it's a little different, isn't it? Like, it means more. You know, you go to the World yeah, Cup. I agree. And you, play, I agree. you put on your country's jersey, and it's different. Well, in the NBA, I think when you grew up around the Knicks, like R.J. Barrett, little picture with a Knicks hat on, he grew up in it, right? Um, mm -hmm. When you have that, so Jalen Brunson, as you know the story, his dad played for the Knicks. Tom Thibodeau coached his dad. 
you know, like he he we, this video of him at Nick's practice as a little kid, as a little boy. Mm -hmm. I saw. <laughs> it, it, it's it's a little it's a little something different, isn't it? A little special. Yes, like when you have yes. that, it's like coming home. So I'm putting this jersey on now, and it's a little different because this jersey represents what I grew up in. This, so I'm home. So, yeah, it's it's special. It's special. Uh, and I like Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson uh, play uh, with your heart, uh, yes. your energy. I, I love your energy uh, in, in, in the NBA, man. Yes. Uh, you, 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 you talk now about uh, it's from New York, uh, child uh, uh, playing in the Knicks. Man, uh, I, I super believe, super believe uh, Jalen Brunson uh, playing well, man. Nah? Uh, in the Knicks, man. And as I heart and uh, what do you think about the center? I, I find it, 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 I thought it was a very interesting signing because, you know, not a lot of people know about him. Um, and I, I'd be honest, like, I knew who, I knew he was, who he was, but I didn't know. Like, if you said, <laughs> what kind of game does he have? I couldn't, right? I couldn't tell you. I was like, oh, you know, he's a big guy, you know. But then I started, like, looking into it, I asked a friend of mine from uh, the Clipper organization, like, hey, what do you think of him? And I heard a lot of great things. He's, he's going to fit because, you know, with that, especially if he's with the second unit, you need someone who's going to be able to pass the basketball around, which he's a really – I'm told he's an underrated passer, a really good passer, and you need that when you've got a lot of – like the second unit, Derrick Rose, uh, Emmanuel Quickly. Um, you, know, you got guys that are going to be doing a lot of running and getting up and down the floor and trying to score. Well, somebody's got to be the one that can move the ball and keep it moving. Um, so there's that. He's He could be a better rebounder. I, th I think some of the numbers show you that there are times that he's actually a better rebounder than his stats show. And that's something that they, the Clippers really wanted him to focus on. Um He's not a bad shot blocker, actually. He's a pretty good shot blocker at the rim. Now, he's not a great defender. He gets into foul trouble, so you worry about that. But with Tom Thibodeau as a coach, maybe they can, you know, find some things and work with him and improve that area. He's not a, you know, he's not considered a uh, stretch four or five. Like, he's not going to, he's not a big-time three-point shooter, but he can hit the three, so you got to respect it. And so there's that. So it's a it's a sneaky, interesting hire uh, signing, and I'm curious to see how they will use him uh, in their rotation, yes. you know, and and you know what kind of impact he could have. But yeah, like when they did it, I was like, oh wow, it's not a name I saw. I didn't was not expecting this, <laughs> but they were yes. clearly scouting him. Yeah, they were definitely scouting him, and they thought he'd be a good fit. So and he's still very young too, very young. Man, uh, in begin. I don't like it. Later, I like it. Yeah, uh, yeah. When uh, I like you, like you, man. Uh, I don't uh, know so much about the right. center. Right. Uh, I like it. Uh, your informations and yeah, I like it. The center. Yeah. Uh, I, I I I I imagine it. Uh, Azaya can be uh, create space. Uh, open space, right. uh, infiltrations for R.J. Barrett, uh, Jalen Brunson, Obi Toppin, uh, yep. Dunks. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I believe uh, Azaya can be useful. Yes. Uh, uh, can can op open the space. They don't uh, have they don't have a player like him, right? Yes. None of their yes. none of their guys six ten or bigger are really that kind of like a lot of the Mitchell Robinson, right? Jericho Sims, like they aren't. They're not, um, they're not guys that can play on the outside, on the perimeter. Yeah. So he's kind of yes. unique. They don't have a player like that at his size who can also go out on the perimeter, can, you know, pass the ball around, maybe shoot the three every now and then, but, of course, still have that size where well, on the defensive end you're not playing small. And I think mm -hmm. they really felt like they, they were lacking that last year out of their big men. So, you know, I, like – like you, the more I heard, I asked some people about him, and this is what they told me. And then I said, "All right, you know, I watched a little bit of video." I said, "All right, let's let's see how this fits." You know, it's it's, it's a very interesting signing. 
É, Mitchell Robinson, for example, I like Mitchell Robinson, but Mitchell Robinson uh, can shoot well. Uh, yeah. And Isaiah shoots. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, I won't see uh, Isaiah uh, making pick and roll. Pick and roll for Jalen Brunson. Man, I, I won't see. I, I am curious yeah. about this guy playing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I told you. In the beginning. Right. Now I am curious. Yeah. Well, okay. when you don't know about somebody, that's how you get. At the beginning, you're like, why are we signing this guy? What are we doing this for? And then. <laughs> and you're like, oh, oh, all right, all right, let's see how this works. Okay, you know, like that's how these kind of signings go sometimes. Queria comentar com vocês, né? Nós temos agora uma novidade aqui com relação ao Nick Fans Brasil, que o canal agora pode ter o programa de membros, né, no YouTube. Então, eu gostaria de pedir para você, você que puder, se inscreva também, né? Seja membro, seja membro do Nick Fans Brasil. Apenas R$ 7,99 por mês. Apenas. 7,99 e você vai ter vantagens exclusivas, vantagens exclusivas por ser membro do canal Nick Fans Brasil. Uma delas você vai ter grupo especial no WhatsApp que você vai ter as notícias sempre antes, né? Vídeos e etc. sempre ditos antes para os membros. Uh, benefícios que vão ser estudados ao longo do tempo que vão ser exclusivos para vocês, além de sorteios, galera. Quem for membro vai ter essa vantagem, galera. Então Bora lá, participa e apoia o canal Nick Fez Brasil, pessoal. Beleza? E aí, pessoal, este foi mais um vídeo aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Espero que vocês tenham gostado, né? E como é de praxe, pessoal, você, você mesmo que está assistindo pela primeira vez o canal Nick Fans Brasil, não se esqueça de se inscrever, se inscreva aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Não esqueça, né, você que já é inscrito, de ativar o sininho para notificação de novos vídeos. E também sempre deixar o seu like, um comentário, compartilhar com os amigos, por que não? Para ajudar com que o canal Nick Fans Brasil chegue cada vez em mais e mais pessoas, pessoal. Beleza? Conto com a ajuda de vocês, Nick Fans. Um abraço! I do, are you down with the orange and the blue?